Now this pick guard was lifting and uh, I guess uh, somebody had, uh, I don't know what they did, we'll find out when we get it off, but uh, uh, the customer's a bit upset about that, he just wanted a nice clean job. Once you open that can of worms trying to redo something or use some type of weird adhesive, it's pretty easy to quickly kind of make a mess of it all. So this is just a warmed up palette knife. It's really easy to overthink some of these jobs. There we go. So I don't know exactly what that is, epoxy or whatever it is, but I'm going to clean it up and uh, we'll start over. You know, whenever I see this type of thing, I think of that Randy Travis tune that goes, uh, I've heard tell the road to hell was paved with good intentions. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm gonna take a few runs at this. I gotta be very careful about cleaning this up. The jury's not in yet whether I'm going to use this pick guard or not. I may end up just swapping it out. Just going at this very gently with the radius disc sander with the foot switch on the drill press. I'm going to take another couple of runs at it and now I'll, I'll make that decision whether we're going to continue or not. There's still a fair amount of super glue here that's got to come off. So I'm using this to just kind of break the skin of that super glue and then I'll switch back to the razor blade. It 
So you can see that this can end up being a real can of worms, what seems like a simple and obvious thing, a fairly common issue of pick guards lifting on these uh, vintage Martins. And I'm sure that there's others that have uh, tutorials and videos on this job. Okay, Paul, I just realized what you were upset about. All this super glue smudge marks all over the top. Here's what I've got. It's a wooden block. You don't want to use your finger. You, you'll just leave a hole in the finish. This is a slip of leather on a wooden block. You guys come up against this. Here's how you're going to take care of it. And I've got some... 3M final finish here, moving in a circular motion. The aim is to get rid of all of that super glue that's... We'll see how we do with this, no guarantees. But yeah, I never saw this until today, Paul. Uh, to spend in my morning and some of my afternoon just cleaning this up for you. After gently rubbing this for about 45 minutes, it's uh, it's come out pretty good. I'm uh, very happy with that. There's no traces of uh, glue. I got all the glue off. At least I think I got it all off. And there's a little bit right here. i got to work on that. Okay, that is miles beyond what it was. And I have made the decision to go with the replacement uh, pit guard. I got most of that super glue off, but... You know, the pick guard is pretty distorted now. The replacement one will look much better than that. I'm just glad that we got rid of all the super glue goops all over the soundboard. There's still some cleanup that I need to do here. a little more presentable and that's what we've got 3m adhesive peel and stick I always aim for three points of contact to get these things lined up properly and that is about as tight as it's gonna get And that's what we've got. It's pretty close. It's virtually impossible to get 100% because the original pick guard was actually attached to the top before the top was sprayed. That's why it was raw wood under there. But we got it pretty close, much better than it was. Just one of those jobs that shouldn't have been necessary. A disproportionate amount of time spent on what should be a very small part of this pretty extensive job. But here's our final shot this whole job. There's the ebony bridge pins with the with mother of pearl dots, the cantilevered compensated bone saddle, 
for these 12 to 56 strings at concert pitch. Our new frets, our reset neck, and the cantilevered compensated nut. These are the Spurzel machine heads that I took apart and lubricated and put back together. It's not just that the guitar plays fantastic, sounds fantastic, but it's super stable now that it's been calibrated. And with those Spurzel tuners, Paul will very rarely even reach to tune this guitar.